But here it goes. Now we can use our induction hypothesis because if you don't use your induction hypothesis, you are not doing induction at all. You are doing pure dog shit, probably. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. Back at Papa Flemmy's Advent Calendar. And do not wonder if I'm scratching my nose. I guess it's the chalk dust. No, I'm not a cokehead. It's the chalk dust. And here it is. It's just making my nose itch. It's make me go crazy. Today we want to prove something about sets. If you don't know shit about sets or the principle of mathematical induction now, I have spoiled something, then well, watch my bachelor's paper playlist. We want to show that for some finite set capital N, the number of elements in the set N is N implies that the number of elements in the power set of N is going to be 2 to the nth power, where the power set is just a set of all subsets of N, including the empty set and the whole set itself. That's a statement about natural numbers because you can only have a positive integer amount of elements in a set. Okay, so why not use the principle of mathematical induction where we set this thing to be our proposition with respect to our small n right here. That's not a power set, that's a proposition, that's why I've written it weirdly with a little swing. That's a swingy boy right here a little bit categorically. So what's the first member of natural numbers? on which we can use this proposition well. For me it's zero, for other people it's one. We're going to start off with zero. So, the proposition P of zero. What's that going to be? Well, at first we're going to plug zero into here. So cardinality of n, so the number of elements in the set is also called the cardinality. It's nothing but zero in this case. But what does that mean if we don't have any elements in the set where that's just the empty set? That means that m is nothing but the empty set right now. But what does this mean for the power set? Well, the only subset of the empty set is the whole set itself. So the set which has the empty set in it. That means that the power set of the empty set is nothing but the set which has the empty set in it. Well, now we can just basically count, hey, there's one element in it. So the cardinality of the power set it's now nothing but 1, but what is 1? This is 2 to the 0 power, 2 to the not power or whatsoever. But you see, the, the base step holds now, and now we are going to formulate our induction hypothesis. It's basically just this, but with a k plugged in. We are going to assume that for some random arbitrary natural number k, for example, this proposition right here holds. Let's, let's just write it out. Let's assume p of k, which is nothing but cardinality of n is nothing but k, implies that the cardinality of the power set of n is nothing but 2 to the k of power, is true. We are just going to assume that this right here is true. And now we want to see if this ensures our proposition being true for the k plus 1 member. Okay? Let's take a look at p of k plus 1. Then for p of suck, that's the success of k, this is just k plus 1, so p of k plus 1. What do we get? Well, at the moment, we just know the left-hand side, namely that the cardinality of n is now k plus 1. Okay, this is the first part. But how could we continue? Well, for this I would like to take a look at this problem right here, but a little bit different. So why not take a look at some ran random arbitrary element a, for example, out of this n right here. So if we form subsets of n, then those subsets can have either a in them or they can't have a in them. What do those subsets that do not have a in them look like? Well, we can formulate this differently. Why not take a look at another set, n prime for example, which is nothing but the set n, but without our element a right here. That means we are removing one element from the set n right here, meaning the cardinality of n prime is k plus 1 minus 1, which is just k. So that's equivalent to saying that the cardinality of n prime is now nothing but k. But here it goes. Now we can use our induction hypothesis because if you don't use your induction hypothesis, you are not doing induction at all. You are doing pure dog shit, probably. So this right here also implies that the cardinality of the power set of n prime is well, 2 to the kth power. And this is already good, meaning 
those right here at the moment are all the subsets of our original n which don't have a in them. All that's really left to do is to find out how many subsets there are of n with a in them. Well, this is quite easy if you think logically about it. We just need to take all those subsets of n prime and we are just going to plug a into them. We are going to adjoin a to every subset. For example, we are going to take a look at the empty set, which is a subset, and we are going to adjoin a to it which is just going to result in the set which has a in it. So this is one possible subset of n with a in it. We are going to do this process for all the 2k, 2 to the k power subsets of n prime. Meaning we are going to have 2 to the k power subsets of n with a in them. I hope it does make sense, it does make perfect sense. Try it out with a simple set like two or three elements, remove one element from it and then try this process out. Meaning, we have two to the k power subsets with, uh, without a in them and also we have two to the k subsets with a in them. Okay, I hope this does make sense. It's really quite easy. It's a little bit abstract, but try it out with certain examples and it's going to make sense. Yeah, what's the total number of subsets now in n? Like I said, a subset of n can have either a in it or not. So the total number of subsets of n, well, is just going to be those with a in them plus those without a in them. So the cardinality of the power set of n is nothing but 2 to the k pl power plus 2 to the k power. But this is nothing but 2 times 2 to the k power. But this is nothing but, if you use the simple power rules, 2 to the k plus 1 power subset of n. And we are done because we have shown that our induction hypothesis ensured this statement to be true. And that's basically it. I hope you did enjoy this little set theory proof video. There are going to be more in Papa Flamy's advent calendar. If you did, please like and subscribe and recommend the channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, buy those t-shirts I created or support the channel on Patreon. Anyways, share those videos, activate the bell button and up until the next video, have a flammable day. See ya.